We are Rice Helping Hands and we have developed a wrist rehabilitation device for children with cerebral palsy. What happens is, so the patient's muscles are essentially they're locked in this position and so our our mentor, Dr. Gagola, actually cuts the muscles and she switches it um, to the, from the underside to, the, to on top of the wrist, which actually will straighten the wrist, patient's wrist out like this. And then, um, while they now have movement, these, these patients have never used these muscles really before because they've been locked in this spastic position. And so their next task is to rehab these muscles. This is the Rice Helping Hands device, the Dynomite and it's a wrist rehab for cerebral palsy patients. So the first step is adjusting the arm restraint to match the patient's physiology. So we have these vacuum bags that have, are filled with couscous. And when we vacuum the air out and Velcro the patient's arm in here, they can, it's restrained enough so the patient can't lift their arm or twist it. The second component is the hand restraint. So the hand restraint goes underneath their knuckles and kind of isolates their um, wrist muscles so that way we're only measuring we're not getting any finger movements or things like that so we're making those two components kind of work together so we're only getting the wrist extensor muscles. We then use steel cables with lobster clips kind of like a necklace to attach it and these essentially screws that we made have holes in them so that allows us to adjust the length of the string as well as the angle of the patient's hand very easily to match the patient's physiology. So the last component is this gaming device. The game will output a wave that it wants the patient to follow. And so it'll kind of give them a starting range. And then once it starts, they'll have to react to how the thing is moving. So she'll pull up on her wrist and she'll be able to see how that is changing her position in the game. It outputs a graph and he knows the um, physician wants to save, things like that. So it outputs it all in a Word document. The, patient, the physician can save it and kind of use it to track their progress. Our project is actually going to be in the clinic starting this summer. So not only are we solving a real world problem, our project will actually have an effect. We've already been into clinic and we've put our device on children at the clinic. Our mentor, Dr. Gagola, is thrilled. And if we could give her the device right now, um, we have a couple of adjustments to make, but if we could give it to her right now, she would, she would take it.